Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at the uh, notification node, the notification um, dashboard node. It's actually a pop-up node and what it does is best illustrated with this flow here. So I'm going to update this device so I click on that and I get this pop-up notification here where I can actually update it or I can cancel it. So it's basically a pop-up window uh, for verifying uh, data entry. Okay, so let's have a look how we use it in our, in our uh, flows. So what I've got here is a very simple flow here. I've got a couple of inject nodes to actually set a state. And I'm storing the state in a, a flow variable. And if you look at the inject node, I'm actually on the latest version of Node-RED, um, which, is, which is version 1.2.6. 1 and the latest version with the inject node it has options not just to inject the payload but also the topic which you may find useful and you can also add other properties here so they've expanded on the inject node okay let's continue with the flow here is the button that you saw when I showed you the user interface so that just produces the button on the on the dashboard this template here is used to create um, the dialogue for the for the button so we, you see here we're going to substitute the payload coming in from the uh, button and then we're going to put the device and in bold we're going to pick up the flow dot device so we're using the flow variable to in to pick up the the name of the device and then we inject that into the notification node and here we've got two options we've got update and we've got cancel and it says here accept raw html which we we're, we're sending in there and it's going to produce a topic update device and it's going to produce a payload of either update or cancel so update or cancel is going to be the payload and then we send it into the switch node and the switch node basically looks to see what we got have we got update or have we got cancel now if we got update we go out on on output one if we got cancel we go on two so output one basically goes on to the rest of our flow in this case I'm just sending into a, a debug node and output 2 will just go nowhere so you leave it blank so it will stop there so if we cancel the flow just stops so let's go and run it so update device we can update device switch one we can update and if we go here we should see we've come out onto the debug node so we went down that path there and if I clear that and do it again and if I choose cancel then nothing happens because we've gone out on this path here and let me now change the device to switch 2 and if we go update device now we pick it up at switch 2 and update and again we get an output a very useful node and also very easy to use so that's it, that's a very quick video. Um, if you like the video, then click on the like button. If you want to get notified of new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe to the channel. And until next time, goodbye.